Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase, a sneak peek showcase. Hot Wheels sneak peeks for 2023. We're going to dive into these in two parts. This is part one. Part two will show up here a day or two later, but part one, we're going to be doing super treasure hunts. We're going to be doing store exclusives, including the upcoming Walmart Zamax and Target Red Editions. That's what this one's going to be. And then I will follow up with Hot Wheels new models in part two. That's going to be a fun one. So I've got a lot of good stuff for you. Hot Wheels has been uh, been really cool about sending some upcoming models this way so I can show them to you. We're going to do a few of these throughout the year, quite a few actually. Um, there's a lot of really good stuff coming. Some I can talk about, some I can't, but that's all right. Let's get right to it. Let's get the super treasure inside of the way. We've seen a lot of them. I'm just kind of showing them as, you know, just to kind of catch up. Um, and I, and these leak well before I get them. Um, but at least I can give you some close ups on them. There's the TV series Batmobile from the A case. We've seen that. This is the Mercedes Benz 300 SL from the B case. We've seen that. This is the 68 Copo Camaro, which I pulled in the C case unboxing. So we have seen that. Here's where we start seeing some new stuff. Again, you may have already seen these in the leak sites, but uh, here they are. This is the D case super treasure hunt. This is the Lotus Avija. Right? Am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. Um, in Spectre Flame Red with the 10 spokes. I'm not going to open these up. I actually have some loose ones coming up. But uh, I'm not going to open these up only because I like to open all of them up towards the end of the year. And we'll get to that. But, you know, we'll see them as we go. Lotus Avija. This is uh, very one of those clean super treasure hunts. The TH logo is there on the top, on the back, or on the, uh, yeah, on the rear window. Everything else is very, very clean. That's a beautiful model. That's in the D case. I'll be doing that unboxing fairly soon, I think. 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. That's your E case super treasure hunt. This model was in premium. It's just moved to basic. I actually have the super treasure hunt right here. This is the FEP that was sent to me by the Dream Team so I can show it loose so we can put it on the turntable. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a light casting. The, you know, it, it, the way it was designed, I think, for premium, it was two metal pieces that met in the middle right there in the, uh, in the uh, you can see right in between the wheels there. Um, but for basic, they got to add some plastic components. So it's a little bit of a lighter model, but it's still very, very cool. The Super Treasure Hunt looks nice in, uh, what is this, kind of a burnt Spectre Flame orange. So I think that one's very cool. That one's upcoming. Uh, what did I say? Is that That's the E case. And then the other one that I just got from the F case to show off. I don't have a loose one, but this is the Renault Sports RS01. Nice to see this one. Seems like it hasn't been getting a ton of attention. We saw it in basic a few years ago. Uh, I don't know, when was this casting done? Does it say here? 2015, so it's been a few years. So nice to see this one as a super treasure, and it's clean. A lot of red, a lot of you noticed that if I, as I showed these on Instagram, that there's a ton of red this year. Um, and I know there's other red supers coming. Um, you know, it's just, I think red stands out. I don't have any other reason. I think they just, as they do the models and they decide what's gonna be the super, they just, you know, I don't know if they account for all that. There's not a ton of, you know, some of us collectors want all the supers, but there's not a ton of people that have all of them. If you find one, you find one, you're very lucky. Um, I don't think you're going to mind if it's red and you're going to leave it on the pegs because it's red. I have one other super treasure hunt that they sent me. Um, by the way, this is the Mazda Cosmo. I think you've seen the regular version too, but that's that. And then the other one, which I don't even know what the upcoming case is. Some of you may know is this one, the Gas Monkey God Garage um, Corvette. Right, what's the official name? Yeah, Gas Monkey 68 Corvette. Done very similar uh, to the actual Gas Monkey um, garage design with the flames on it. This one's more of a copper Spectre flame as opposed to gold. Um, I have the regular version here too, so you can see that, which is kind of cool. Um, more, more of like a satin brown color on this one, and then the Super Treasure. So that'll be a nice one that's upcoming. Um, so there is the super. I know there's others that have been leaked. That's what I've got right now. And as I get more, I'll definitely show them. All right, let's get on to the Zamax. I've got some carded ones that will open up, and I've got one loose one, and the same with uh, with the Target Red Edition. So let's get these done. These are actually I found in store, and then Mattel sent them to me, and I got them just uh, right. I mean, like literally this next day, I think. But a couple of things about Zamax that we've learned since then, because when I got to the store, I realized that, you know, there were two Zamax. I was like, oh, maybe there was a third one that I missed, but I didn't. This first case, which is the B case, which I think is early compared to previous years, um, there's only two. 
So they're releasing them a little bit earlier. They're releasing them a little bit frequently. But from what I've heard, there's going to be fewer Zamex this year. They've done for the last, what, almost 10 years, they've done 18 each year, released in groups of three. This time they're going to be released in groups of two. And I don't know how many they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to do 12, like the red editions um, or, you know, 60. I don't know. I don't know how many they're going to be, but I have the first four here. So this is the uh, Wyra Roadster. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Since we got them in store, we might as well. Here it is. Cool casting. We've seen this as a super treasure hunt. We've seen it in a few different... I don't know if we've seen it in premium. We've seen the Wyra. But I don't know if we've seen the Roadster. But this one is nice and clean, right? The first version was white, right? Uh, this year, at least. And this Zamac, uh, nice and clean. Just has the stripe on top. And then it has the detailing on the front and the back, which is very, very nice. So because that's the number one... Zamek right here. I have the Zamex in the background of ending with the 2022 so we can go right there with the 2023 and go ahead and put that one right in. Number two is the 70s van from the Art Cars. It was in white with this uh, kind of crossword puzzle style which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and open this one up. That was the other one in the B mix. So here it is. I've always said this about Zamex. I, one of the reasons I love collecting all the Zamex is there are certain castings, licensed and unlicensed, that I wouldn't collect normally. But now I have at least one version. Same goes with like Super Treasure and others. But uh, the 70s van is not one that I keep. And so there you go. Here are the two that are upcoming. This is your sneak peek, right? I think a lot of people have seen the combi. I've heard people mention the Thunderbird. I, I don't pay attention to leak sites too much, so I don't know exactly what's been seen. But here they are on the cards. You've got the cool combi, that's number four. So number three is actually the Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. Fantastic casting, released in white to start, right? Or pink last year, right? And then the, we've seen it in white, I think, in the C case. Um, but it's going to show up in the E case. So let's see, B, D, E. Okay, that makes sense. So every other case, it looks like we're going to be seeing Zamax. Like maybe that's, so if it's like, let's, should we do the math right now? B, E, F. G, H, J, because they don't do I, L, M, N, P. So maybe there's going to be, if we're uh, if we're looking at seven, seven releases, if they're going with, uh, with the same amount of releases, then we're going to see 14 Zamax. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I hope it's more, but um, I could see them doing a straight up dozen, but who knows. All right, so this is number three. You might as well open it. There's the artwork. Um, and since we're already here, let's just go ahead and do it. So there it is. Looks really cool. I like that they've done another 80s theme because this is an 80s car. Right? I just think this is a great casting. And, um, yeah, like the Cosmo, it's kind of half and half. It's like metal and plastic, but this one looks really good. Love that uh, hood on this one. So that one goes right there. And finally, this will be obviously a very popular Zamac. Um, popular or not, I love this one. Anything Moon Eyes, I'm game. Cool combi doing Moon Eyes, I'm super game. First released in the uh, C case, right? I believe the C case in yellow. And now we have it uh, here in Zamac, releasing also in the E case, the number four. You can see they do the uh, they put the Zamac symbol now and number it on the uh, model itself. I forget to go close up sometimes, but that looks really nice. So there's the Zamac. Should we open it up? Let's do it. So that's coming in the E case. Here it is. Yellow windows on this one, probably to, to pay a little bit of homage. We've seen a lot of Moon Eye Zamax. I think this is maybe the third or fourth that we've seen. And I think it's a really nice combination. I love Moon Eyes. I've got every one of them, at least in the basic range. And they're recolors. And this one is a proper model. All right, there we go. That is all of the... Uh, that is all of the Zamax. So we're, you know, like I said, we'll find out how many there are going to be. But there are the first four of 2023. Should we get on with the red editions? Let's do it. All right, before we do that, I did forget one other Zamek that I do have that was sent to me by the uh, by the Hot Wheels design team. I have it loose, not carded, and we'll use the, uh, the close-up. This is the Mazda Miata, and if I look, this looks like it's gonna be number eight, maybe? Let's look on this side, it's hard to tell. 
really hard to tell. Six? Actually, this might be number six. So we don't know what number five is unless it's, uh, like I said, it's been released. But this will be the number six Zamac. This is an FEP. That's why it's got that print on the back there. But this is will be one of them. Um, one of the remaining Zamax is this uh, Mazda Miata. So that is another one to look for. Since I have that FEP, I'll put that off to the side uh, and include it once I get it carded. All right, these are the red editions. You can see where it ended last last year in 2022. So I'm starting on a whole new side with this case. Um, a lot of good ones. I think we had the BMW, we had the Corvette, this uh, Silverado and the Honda were the most popular of the year. Porsche, Pina Farina. I mean, it's a really good year and it looks like we're going to have a stellar year. As nice as that Combi is and that Thunderbird, look at the red editions. They are going to be phenomenal this year. I have many of the first six, but not all. It's uh, We're going to try and piece things together, some loose, some carded. So let's just get right to it. Um, here's your first one. And I'm going to save this one. I'm not going to open this one just yet. Uh, this is the Ford Esc Escort RS2000. This is a new model. Uh, there's two new models already in the uh, in the Red Editions mix. We'll get to the next one real shortly. This is number one of 12. We know there's going to be 12 Red Editions because they get the actual... Um, they get the actual marking on the card. So this is the, uh, you know, this this is the white right the white and blue version that was first released and i think we have another one coming out fairly soon another recolor but this one goes in red edition it has even has the red there they get the the zamax get the zamax badging this one gets the word red somewhere on the body and you can see where that one showed up there on the roundel there so this is the mismatched wheels as well in black with red uh with red trim very very cool car i'm going to open this up with the new models preview that i'm going to do in part two so we're going to put this off to the side that's the number one. The number two, I think, I don't have the carded one. Mattel just throws in a box what they have. And so I don't have number two right now, but this is the one that I think is number two. We know it's a red edition because it says red right now. This is the, the Liberty Walk Nissan Silvia S15. Um, and, uh, you know, we've seen this one. I've uh, showcased this one. I think this one has been uh, shown by Leeway as well, the designer. But it started out in black and fact... I need to open this one up. Started out in this black version, right? We saw this in the A case, I think, and I haven't even opened one up yet. So I'll put this, this one off to the side. I haven't just wanted to look at it. Uh, this beautiful version in black. And then we have upcoming a recolor in gold. I don't know if this will come out before the red editions. Well, actually, let's look. If that's number two, the red editions are going to show up in the C case. So fairly soon, right? So we'll get three in the C case, I think. Let's just see. Let's see if they're doing it the same way. So we have the black version. Then we have the gold version that uh, Mattel sent to me. You can see the uh, FEP there. And we will have somewhere around there the red edition as well, which is really cool in red. This one's an FEP too. You can see the print there. But uh, yeah, look for that one as a red edition because you can see that additional red. I think that's number two. Number three also in the CK. So these will still be released in threes is the Tesla Model Y. I said there's like going to be new models. Well, this is another one. The Tesla Model Y started in white, right? In the C case as well. And it will show, it appears simultaneously at Target in this kind of uh, cherry red or candy apple red color uh, with the black rims. This is very nice, very clean, really dig this one. So you can see with the Ford Escort, the Sylvia, and this Tesla, that's already a great start to the red editions. I'd say that's even better than the Zamax to start. So you have those two. So they'll go, you know, one, two. We can put that there for now if we want to. And then, of course, this one. Oh, that's what above. Sorry, it's out of the shot there. One, and then that one goes up there. This one goes right here. But I still have more. So let's move down here. I have three other ones that we can show. Um... I don't have number five. Well, I do have number five. And I do have number four. Let's start with number four. So this will come in the F case. So you can see right there, it's the McLaren Elva. We saw this debut in 2022 in black and blue. Now we have it in red. I don't know if there's going to be, you know, I haven't seen what the, what the 2023 version looks like, the standard basic version. But we are going to get this red edition. There's the word red on it right now. Um, should we open it? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. 
We'll be doing, I, I was told by um, Mattel that, uh, well, here it is. You can take a look at it on the turntable. I was told by Mattel that we're going to see these, um, that they're going to send me the case, so the Target C case fairly soon. That must be in the distribution center because they said it's on its way to me and I'll do the unboxing on it. Uh, but obviously these this F case, we won't see for a little bit. But there goes the McLaren Elva, the B or the number five model. And I've previewed this before is the 67 Jeepster Commando. I think we saw this in a tan color to start. And this is the red edition. I can show you the word red. Where is it? Right there on the front. You can see that right there. There's the artwork. Should we open it up? Because it's the number five. So it is funny. I'm going to have the uh, the number. Uh, well, I guess when I do the new models, you'll see me add that. Okay, so there we go. Here is the Jeep. The Jeepster Commando. Kind of a cool, nice, big casting. This was a super treasure hunt at one point, so I have one in the collection for that. Now I'm going to add this one. Earl Mo Motors on the hood. Very nice version. That goes into the red edition collection and lastly and this is a great one this is a great one also in the f case it's the 1986 toyota van with a really good cool toyota deco in black red wheels where's the word red on this one i think it's on the back yep there it is on the very back this is just a beautiful version there i'm just you, tar you scored a target only exclusive collect all 12. So we already know what the first six are going to be. Um, let's open that. And uh, this was a model that I thought was one of the best of 2022. A few that I thought were a little bit better, so it didn't get into the Lamely Awards for me. But uh, still, a model that I'm happily collecting. And this red edition is an obvious addition. So that goes. I'm putting them up here. I wasn't even going to show you. There you go. So there we are. Okay. We know the first, what, four or five... Zamax, and we now know the first six red editions. So six to go with Target. Um, we don't know how many more to go with Walmart. But we're going to take these two, and I will open them up in part two of the new models feature that I'm going to do because we're going to start with these. We're going to go all the way through some cool carded stuff, and then I even have some loose stuff that uh, and some even pre-production uh, that we'll go ahead and take a look at. That's coming up in part two. Thanks, everybody. Bye.